Hi, everyone. It's Auntie Alice. And um, today I'm up to making some soda bread. Um, and before I make that video, I wanted to talk about why I'm not your typical trans woman. And why this isn't your average um, YouTube channel. So, I'm from the island of Puerto Rico. Basically, every single person in my entire life that should have ever been in charge of looking after me um, has been needing to take bathroom breaks. Um, needless bathroom breaks. Needlessly long bathroom breaks. Um to relieve their undying preference that they have for the American head of this imaginary ivory hunting task force and ebony collecting task force. Um, they're so freaking obsessed with it that they keep ne leaving these little noodles in the toilet. Um, and they've been ignoring my qualms and the fact that I could literally femininely dominate at many capitalist, you know avenues in ways that are beneficial to communities and whatnot and 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 that women do that and trans women do that and women and trans women are not just a bunch of you know Neither of them are objects for use, like, for sure, not without asking. And yet I think neglect is like on, on an opposite on a complete opposite end of it, like, um, neglect due to what I said is, um, fascinating, fascinating to watch, um, like, a subgroup of people, like, um, lose, like, have, have, like, you know, lose favor, over being weird and you know and you guys are so brainwashed too like you guys really let yourselves get brainwashed by Bill Gates propaganda and Steve Harvey propaganda and you sort of just like literally need life to suck as much as it ever has or something like Well, that never made sense to me. And regardless of how much people tried, I decided that I was just going to keep on uh, being adamant about the fact that I was a virtuous woman that knew how to do loads and loads of things. And that, you know, <laughs> 
Maybe all I needed was to finally finish my laser hair removal. I couldn't, I, I literally got it paid for and I missed two sessions because of how hurt my neck was from an incident that took place that should have never taken place. And no repercussions were given to the individual that, you know, and, and I was never compensated and not, not even for my two missed sessions of laser hair removal that I should definitely get to have even more than that. Like, just, you know, that should be a part of my life that it's just like, I get to do that as like, um, to like to maintain that even like to keep doing that, like, at least basically that. If not, I, I feel like I'd, I'd run the risks of like, getting my breasts implanted. Um, they grew naturally with medications and with like massaging and things that I did when I was like a trans person all throughout the time I've been a trans woman. Um, and I would like to get them done one day. And um, yeah, basically, I'm just basically just like here to like, place those exact sets of words on the racism that you all provoke constantly and don't let me do either the trans thing nor the culinary thing nor the which is you know specialized in vegan which is like literally like uh, sustainable sustainability um and and like you know um like it, it honestly like it like wouldn't get better than my thought process and yet you literally couldn't break through to that understanding like for you it's just catharsis there that's where you're just like you're, you're like that's like that's always been your limit and so go ahead and puke you know or gag um you know what can i say like i have to place you all's racism in such a fine, finely adept way, using, well, I mean, we'll call it more my language than the ones people, people who have even made some of the greatest contributions to the English language is... <laughs> not as much their language as it's been mine just as i've been i mean i just like just landed here on this little planet and i was just given these like sets of opportunities that well that's something that they've yielded they've otherwise yielded quite a bit of hardship and um you know can sleep in wrath and oh my god and just literally too much just too much like too much stuff that like at this point like you need to like you need to just like shut the fuck up about setting limitations like about people like me and like shut the fuck up about it like literally like shut the fuck up about it like literally shut the fuck up about it like you literally give me a place to live and you literally give me a place to cook and you literally give me all my licenses to sell this fantastic fair that I know about before you try to hire a chiropractor to try to kill me 
over over what like probing me in a way and then like not finding out anything just finding out that i'm the nicest person ever that can handle any situation and any any day of any regular day of anyone's basis and then you gotta like you gotta you gotta you gotta do what you did huh it's been two years of of the letter that i wrote and so now what's gonna happen like is somebody gonna come talk to me about Alice Y2K. I have my beetle nut. Er Erica nut stains. That and still a little bit. I, I need to finish laser hair removal. And I have to. Because I'm on T. Alice. And you can't. I mean I don't, I don't care. Like if you see like a little bit of something. That is like usually on someone else. I, I used to go. The best restaurant. In Olympia, Washington was called the Bearded Lady. All right. And I hate to like put anyone on the spot, but Bearded Lady is actually a, um, a, a, an AFAB person, a signed female at birth person, a person that was born a woman, right? Um, gender wise, some people call it the opposite of like, right, of like what I was, but like, I don't think it's really that far off from, I think it's just like this thing that honestly people are like really weird about. Um, I'll tell you what, I don't even know if bearded lady is interested in getting laser hair removal. And bearded lady is like a cis lady, you know, has like, I don't think that that they, well, they might be actually non-binary. I don't, I don't even know. I think they might have been, like, some sort of non-binary preference, you know what I'm saying? Like, prefer maybe call, being called them, they, or something, maybe. I do it, like, before any, saying anything else. But, like, beard lady, like, you know? Like, kind of like me minus the laser hair removal, and I don't know. I mean... There's, there's some, there's a type of person that, like, you'd see them and out of respect, you might want to try the, the, some of our methods in these communities that you don't like about starting with, um, you know, avoiding pronouns. Because bearded lady, I mean... I mean, you've gone in, you know the place is called Bearded Lady, and often the Bearded Lady themselves was the cashier. Or you'd see them cooking really well, honestly. It's, this was the best food in Olympia. Like, legendary. Legendary. They had some, they had some vegan stuff. There was the, the sweetie pie platter that was vegan that had like a, a little bit of like a smoked tofu and a little bit of like a corn cake thing happening and some like corn waffle and some like sweet potato-y like sort of like almost like cooked like the way that yams were from the soul food the other day and the the rum and spiced syrup that made you feel like you were out in the Northwest having the best, like, the, the, the best, um, traded provisions were just being just thoughtfully placed on a plate by the most genius culinary minds in town, these vegan gluten-free biscuits, that you could take home with you that were super puffy and nice, actually. Those ones were, like, super... Like, if you look up this recipe, like, vegan gluten-free biscuit, I, I love the... I mean, I'm not even supposed to have a lot of, like, sweet potato, but it was sweet potato-y type, and, like, sometimes these recipes for brownies and, and biscuits that include sweet potato are very, very supplely in the way that the same sort of thing, you know? Like, I'm about to bake vegan soda bread... And you might have your doubts all day. Um, I'm very good at baking traditional soda bread. And I find it real easy. It comes real together when, when you have the buttermilk and eggs. But I just so happen to have egg replacer. 
which is just something that I recommend for everyone's pantry because for one, I have to say when I make when I make vegan um uh cold butter pastry for like pies and things like that and I use egg replacer and stuff like that, that effect that happens of becoming flaky. Um it happens so much so when I use vegan stuff um that I might even call it more so it's almost like the the egg that is like actually egg sort of prevents some of that from happening although egg does make a fantastic egg wash obviously but vegan egg wash which is usually like some sort of like syrup and vegan milk combined it does a pretty wonderful job as well of finishing the pastries and so i mean i used to go to one in seattle that was like slavic and the the regular sort of traditional piroshki that were baked by the crew that used to work there before the place got the name sort of slightly changed or maybe like just the ownership changed or something they had the the workers that worked there previously making sort of the traditional ones um some of which i liked some of which i openly didn't like i remember one time i tried the turkey one and i was like why the f is this not smoked turkey leg meat and it was like this like deli meat turkey that smelled like deli meat inside of a piroshki that was like sitting in the hot tray and it literally like wafted a bad smell and i was like good lord like this is like this is a terrible pastry like i thought this was gonna taste like disneyland you know what i mean um and it just was like pretty much i i just i you know and i've had some that are good and i've had some that are bad and i tend to prefer um ones that are vegan they have a longer shelf life like that one place had a vegan baker and she'd come out with like vegan sticky buns topped with like loads of pecans and things like that and like to be honest with you they heavily competed the vegan pastries that were possibly made on in trays that were separate and everything you know like just like literally made by a vegan baker that's going in there to tell the owner um if you don't do this then i don't think that we should call it vegan and stuff or gluten-free and stuff you know it's like really pretty strict stuff right um yeah but anyways um I'm actually pretty good at making those types of doughs for, for like, that type of, like, milk bread and, and the vegan way, too. But I just have never been good at making, um, I don't know, like, sourdough bread and stuff. I did never really got very good at that. But I am really pretty good at making anything that involves cold butter and rising, like, like the soda bread. I will make the heck out of this soda bread, even vegan. I know how to, I know how to even replace some of the smells and and whatnot and the colors, very well, to to my liking. Um. And I have a vegan cultured butter, you know, like how much, how much more. Like that, does it have to get for me to opt for it? Like it really doesn't. It's that we're we're there. Um, I'm, it's pretty much by by. It's it's a great alternative. It's literally uh, honestly almost better alternative right for me right now. It is. There's no way I'd be able to keep fresh buttermilk. Like around to have it now. Unless I went and still had money left over, like, I don't know, I, I've got it all, it's, you know, it's, it's here for, and, um, yeah, 
in a world like mine where I've never had, I've, I've never even had my own poultry that produces eggs or, or dairy stuff, you know, dairy cattle or sheep or something like never I'm I actually come from a family that I think is like they're so negative and like only for themselves that if I wasn't extremely rebellious they're like they're they're scapegoating like rough like and they don't even acknowledge it. They, like, with a sadistic smile sometimes. I mean, they have. They they really have. And I think, like, at this point, they're, like, needing to reflect and, like, be like, wow, I am literally on a high throne somewhat. And this person is, like, talking about this discrepancy. That's so sick, dude. But on top of that, I've just had stuff take place that is like, you you give people chances and then for me, they blow it bad enough once they have to like, they have to like literally like, there needs to be like new, um, new set of circumstances set up, you know? this weird shit I, I don't know how to really navigate like um yeah I don't, I don't know how to, how to navigate it I really don't I feel indigent I feel like I need money to deal with it and I also am very much in need of having conversations with people like I'm very isolated and I'm not doing it on purpose <laughs> I'm doing it like I'm fucking kind of like like um what's the proper word Is it annexing? I'm trying to relate this to how it feels like. Kind of, kind of, I'm not, I'm not Jewish. But it's like, it reminds me a lot of this, like, girl of, uh, like, Anne Frank, but like, like I can order Uber Eats since I got hit in the head and before that like I could talk to this girl and there were like other things I mean I could like I could I could walk around but it all only put me at risk ever it wasn't like it's like it's like walking around in like like kind of an unsafe zone for a person like me and I know the types of things like some of the band controlled substances help with like making my appearance seem more like um uh like um anglicized feathery hair and shit like like Nicki Minaj like I've had it done or something and I wonder I wonder about why you all make it so difficult. I mean, I think I should have taken medications during some of the stints of yelling that I was doing a, a year ago on, on camera and in general, just trying to get people's attention. My ear, when it was, uh, when I had the impacted circumen from the injury, I don't, I don't know, you all. I needed, I needed, I needed way more help. I needed pain medication for that. In the way that it was obstructing with my back injury, like, I don't know. I'm a trans woman. I'm not about to, like, like I had that hair 
fall out over that, and I'm not all right with any of it. It's not fine to treat someone like that. It's obviously, like, I, like that video I posted the other day about, like, yeah, there was violence that took place in my town. The police know very much about it. I send them, I sent them voicemails at the beginning, and I've been Facebook messaging them about how I basically plan to hide until it's time to go to Portland. And the reason to go to Portland is all, as a medical refugee, but of, of the trans medication. They stopped giving me the trans medication, and then they performed this probe on me, but I did well, in my opinion. I mean, I did well enough that I think I could have talked my way through what took place. I mean, I was just asking anyone for help and being uh, appropriate and nice um, and uh, open about it, so I didn't think much of it. I think that's all how you're supposed to act in the world anyways. And, um, and like, yeah, I'm pretty horrified or something. And I am, I am sort of like hiding. Um, and today I'm going to try to do my pickles video and I'm going to try to finally cook these sandwiches because I've been needing to order food because I can't cook. Like at this point, it's like, if I don't talk to somebody, like, if I literally don't talk to somebody, which not even my mom will anymore, my mom doesn't want to now, and so now I have zero people that I'm speaking with, like, ever, like, ever speaking with someone, like, ever, like, you know, like, literally never speaking to somebody, like, I have literally, like, an enormous checklist of stuff that I, like, that I go through, that I do, that I, that I, like, process things and do things, and, like, even though I literally have, like, you know, like, limited mo mo motion, and I, I definitely have no way to get places, and, like, you know, I have no way to correct that mistake of not having picked up the bag of bilimbi and the bag of um, of tapioca little bits um, that I that I should have picked up. And I just like I have a head injury, so like I can't think things through and I, I honestly really need somebody to come and help. Um, and it honestly grows very tiring and I'm, I'm very tiring of you. Uh, I'm, I'm very tired of you all preferencing so much this stupid idea of this like American like head of the Teddy Roosevelt ivory hunting crew and and the 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 the, the tar and feather scene that you literally run the Spanish American war every day and you treat people that probably shouldn't even be treated badly, bad, and, and here I was just actually, like, learning about, like, the ties between some of the people in the Iberian Peninsula and on the Irish Island, and I find that somewhat so fascinating. I know there's for sure a link between the Mediterranean Lear of ancient times and the harp that has become a huge, um, like, lovely instrument of the, all the symphonic orchestras of Europe, including the United Kingdom. It's one of the most beautiful instruments ever. Um, and... Yeah, I grow, I grow insanely fucking tired of, like, literally, like, I just literally want somebody to come at me in La Buena, dude, and just be nice and fucking help me. I know how to do all of it. I literally, I literally know how to do it all with, with, like, at good quality, and I know ways to do it without animal products and things, and I never, I literally never get to talk to anybody. Like, people, like, are laughing, putting themselves in deficit, like, about, like, trying to, like, 
I I don't even know. Like it's like they they think they're like um they have this right to protect themselves from like this like somebody and like did you know that that somebody like just almost died the other day of like literally like being like like having their neck snapped by a chiropractor at a chiropractic table for for paying $50 for it to to try to help me get back on board with like with going to work or doing something I, I went to the chiropractor to help me with my back that was like screaming in pain the only person that would help me in fact no professional around here has been mature enough to help me a 16 year old that i ran into over a post and and apparently uh, with with grandma's supervision was the one that like during the bit of time that i didn't even have a crutch to walk with yet and i was like you know screaming in pain that angel is who helped and i also know that it was misinterpreted and that you all literally decided to almost kill this cute little auntie alice that was that literally has just been trying to get help with walking it's fucking sick dude you almost fucking literally took out my fucking nervous system. You almost killed me, whoever the fuck it was. And so you're going to come forward and you're going to pay, you know? You're going to pay up and you're going to and you're going to figure it out, buddy. All right, it's time to get away from the toilet. All right, you've left a lot of little squigglies in there. I get it, dude. I literally get it, dude. The ivory hunting crew, dude. Literally, I understand, dude. I literally get it, dude. Traditional, dude. Sailor Mars, dude. I literally... Oh, my fucking nutting. Literally, I get it. I literally understand that you've done that. I literally get it that you've done it literally a million times. Now it's time to do something. Now it's time to do something, Ham, Nuttingham. Now it's time to come talk to Auntie Alice. We're in New York. You fucking get it? I'm gonna go blend some of my ass wipe distillate medicines. And you fuck off and show up sometime soon. Fuck Ham, fuck face.